Hey, what's up, Reefers? Today we're gonna do a little bit of DIY. What we're gonna do today is convert this Aqua Clear 70 into a refugio. There are a lot of different tutorials online, but the one I'm gonna follow is from nanoreef.com by El Fabuloso. And I'm gonna have a link in the video description below so you guys can follow along. And the reason I wanna follow this particular tutorial is because it does not require me to get any additional parts. Another popular one requires me to get a acrylic uh, like a piece of acrylic and I don't have that readily available and I really like the idea of just kind of reusing all the material that I have already so we're following this tutorial. I'm just gonna cut this in three pieces I'm gonna reuse all these pieces for example this one is gonna go here as a chato guard and then one of the side is gonna go down here as a baffle uh, for the chatos or macroalgae in this portion. So for that we'll need the scissor, we need a razor blade and of course we need the all important aquarium sealant. For the filter, for the sealant, um, I'm gonna have link to Amazon in the video description below as well as if you in case you want to build something similar. I'm not going to film the actual process of me putting it together because I feel like it's pretty straightforward and if you really want details step by step I think the best way is to go to the link because the link includes a lot of really detailed um, photos and write-up and I think it did a fantastic job so no sense repeating good content. So I'm going to have the link in the video description below in case you want to do a similar mod. All right I'm going to work on this and hopefully I won't fudge things up too badly and I will see you guys shortly the next day all right guys welcome back now it's the next morning and the silicone has set quick recap is that i cut up the media basket and glued the bottom of the media basket to the top portion um, and the reason we have this is so that we now have a chato guard so this will keep things from flowing out into the tank i gotta make sure it's a it's a decent height so that things don't creep over but at the same time it should not be so high that it restrict the flow in case anything overflow and you see over here i built a baffle and this is also a piece of the media basket. And the reason we have this is so that if I need to run filter floss, I have a space here. Or if I decided that I wanna put the heater in the back, I have the space for it. I'm not sure if I have enough room to fit both the heater and the filter floss, but we'll figure it out. But at least for now, we have a um, little baffle right here. Let's see if we can pull this out. The baffle is held in place by two notches that I cut on, on the, um, the screen right here. And this actually, I can just slide it right in. And I can angle this as well. Let's say I just need the heater. I don't need the whole, like the whole section. I can angle it like this, put the heater right here. So I have a little bit more room for the chatos. So that is pretty much it. I think the Aqua Clear 70 is pretty much ready to go. I would just like to give it half a day to make sure um, all the silicone finish uh, curing. One little thing is that the intake may be a little bit long. Because if you look like look right here, uh, I was trying to boost up right here, so it's pretty close to the sand bed. I think it should be okay, but if it turns out to be too long, I'm gonna use a duct tape to kind of tape up this section, and then use a miter saw uh, just to cut it cut it a little bit shorter. But as of now, I think it should be okay. I'm just gonna leave it as it and let it run. So that is pretty much the filtration and the water circulation. I'm gonna let it finish curing, in, but in terms of the tank. I cleaned up the silicone edges a little bit. It was really messy. I have not seen a tank with such a terrible silicone job. They applied the silicone really liberally, except there's a lot of runoff and a lot of strays. And if you feel right here, all the, all the glass is not flush. It kind of sticks out a little bit. So this is definitely a budget tank, but it will work. So I'm gonna wash this out and I'm gonna start putting some sand and rock in here. Things are advancing really quickly in comparison to the 150 gallon tank, isn't it? It's like next day, oh, tank is up, to, ready to go. All right, see you in a bit. Four to six weeks later. Hey, what's up, Reefers? We jump forward in time for about four weeks since the filtration has been up and running. I just wanna give you a quick review over it. Just in case any of you guys are following this build and it's doing the same thing, I figure I'll give you my uh, two cents instead of having you guys wait four weeks. So in the last four weeks, this modification has been running off without a hitch. The only thing I'm noticing is that the water level is actually quite high. You see how it's threatening to go over the edge. But uh, overall, it is doing okay. And I'm really thankful that I left this gap right here just in case this get clogged up, the water can still flow over the top and it will not flood outside the uh, hang the back filter. And you notice that, like I mentioned, I put a heater in that little compartment on this side and so far it's fitting perfectly. So the only issue is that this cover does not sit flush because of the wire. So I'm kind of debating what to do. Either I'm gonna cut a notch 
uh, in the cover right here so the wire can come out or I just kind of leave the top completely open. Another thing I'm considering is that, um, as I mentioned, I'm gonna grow some chados or some kind of macroalgae in the back chamber so this will become a refugium. So I'm debating whether I should put some kind of light over this. Um, so that is something I'm researching right now and that will bring the cost a little bit over 146, but not so much because we're just gonna stick to some kind of cheap light that either dangles over the top or maybe if I wanna get fancy, it could be one of the light that you can, I can stick to the side. For sure, keep you guys posted on what I decided to do. And if you guys have any recommendation, please let me know. And you also notice that I decided to put some marine pure spheres from my 45 gallon tank in the back to help with biological filtration. Overall, this setup is running beautifully. It has been over four weeks and there's no issue at all. And in terms of water flow, I have it at the lowest setting in the moment. Uh, this is the highest but we'll keep it at the lowest. You can see some of the detritus floating around. I feel like this water movement is good enough for the 10 gallon tank. If I need more, I can crank it up a little bit higher. If I need less, I feel like once I started planting macro here, the water, um, the speed of the water is gonna slow down dramatically. But just look at the water surface agitation. I feel like this is a decent amount. So that is a pretty quick how-to on how I modified the Upper Clear 70. Again, there's many different ways to do it. I just found this way um, the most appealing because I can just reuse all the parts that came with the uh, power filter. And so far it has run with no issue at all. One problem that I noticed is that the evaporation rate on this tank is ridiculous. I have been topping it off every three days or so. I forgot what a pain it is to top off water. I do have a smart ATO laying around that I may slap on it. That'll I'll be cheating a little bit. But that is a problem to solve for a different day. For now, this video is about how I modified the AquaClear 70 uh, to be used as a refugium. The only thing missing is a light. For sure, I'll keep you guys posted. And if you have any good ideas, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear it. The next video is gonna be about the rock and sand I use and how I started cycling. So if you wanna follow along, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you next time.